Hello, and welcome back to The Tapping Fix. Today I'd like to go over a rating that people use in order to check in and see how well you're doing or what kind of shifts you're having. And in case you have some questions about this, sort of give you a little bit more of an answer. This is called a sub-level rating, in case you're hearing people talking about it. And a lot of people would say to themselves, well, you know, what is this? How does this really help me and what is it all about? So sud level rating is short for subjective units of distress. And while that doesn't sound all that lovely, really all it is is some way for you to measure how your tapping is going and for you to, to kind of have some sort of distinctive way to measure whether or not what you're doing is having an effect. Okay, so let's say I have back pain and let's say that I decide I'm going to do my tapping on my basic recipe and I'm doing the karate chop point three times and I'm, I'm going through my tapping points and I finish, I take a deep breath and I started with a sud level rating of 10, which was just excruciating pain. Well, now I could say to myself, well, where am I at now? Where am I at on that scale now? Maybe instead of a 10, you're an eight, or maybe you're a six, or maybe it's even lower and it's just gone completely, which would be just phenomenal. So basically all a sud level rating is, is a way for you to kind of check in with yourself after each tapping round and see if you're having the desired effect that you want to have. Some people say it's important to write this down. Other people say to just keep it in your head. And other people say, you know, it's not really important to them, so they don't bother to use it. Um, usually in pain, you would be dealing with, you know, a zero being no pain and 10 being the highest level of pain. Um, if you're dealing with an emotional issue, you would look at the fact that the sud level rating would be the emotional charge you would have around that issue. So basically it's kind of the energetic charge that you have around the emotional trauma or if you had a fight or anything else you're trying to work through, zero would be having no emotional charge to it whatsoever. And then a 10 would be just, you know, having the worst possible feeling associated with something. Um, if you're talking about motivation though, like sometimes the sud level will work in reverse. So you would say, uh, you know, how high is my block to this, right? And you would say, you know, my block is at a 10 or my block is at a zero, or you would say, how motivated am I to get this done? And if you're talking about motivation, then of course, a zero would be very low motivation and, and a 10 would be, you know, you're raring to go really high, you know, ready to get it done. Okay, so now hopefully you know a little bit more about what your sud level rate is. And hopefully when you guys are tapping at home and you're doing your basic recipes, you're finding that most of your troubles and your worries are having a dramatic shift and you're feeling much better. In case this isn't happening, I'll go over what to do in the next video called your nine gamut series so that you can have another tool in your tool belt if you get that sud level rating and it's going down but like you can't get it stubborn and it's stuck at like a four or two, you just can't get it to go away. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. See you on the next one.